That's the client for Common Maths. Today we're going to go through the whole of trig identities in National 5 Maths. That's two main identities and we're going to go straight into it right now with where they come from. So I've drawn the unit circle on my page. Let me just get a highlighter. So remember the unit circle is just a circle with a radius as 1. Now if we do that, if you recall from when we came up with the, the cast diagram, you will see that since if we call this angle theta, uh, opposite over hypotenuse is sine theta. So sine theta is just the height because you would write, and we'll delete this in a minute, but you would write sine theta is equal to opposite over 1, so opposite equals sine theta. Similarly, cos theta would equal adjacent over 1, so the adjacent side is cos theta. So we can call the height sine theta and the length cos theta for this. Now if we do that, I'm just going to delete this, then you can get two trig identities quite easily because we know that tan theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. But opposite is sine theta and adjacent is cos theta. So we've got one trig identity straight away that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. We can get one other trig identity by using Pythagoras. You should know that for Pythagoras, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So if I call that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, substitute it in, we get sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. Well, c squared is just 1 squared, which is 1. So we've now got our second identity, which we'll use to solve some problems with proofs and trick. Now, sine squared plus cos squared, just what that means is sine, sine theta times sine theta. We write the squared before the theta just for clarity more than anything else, but it really means the sine of theta all squared. Trigonometric identity example 1. Show that 1 minus sine squared x over cos x equals cos x. So we all start off with writing down our trig identities. Tan x is sine x over cos x. I'm just going to leave the degree sine out and sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. Well, the top of this line, 1 minus sine squared x, means we're using the second identity because we want to use sine squared x. So let's try and rearrange this so we get 1 minus sine squared x. So if I take away sine squared x from both sides, that means that we know that cos squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So we can now just write that 1 minus sine squared x over cos x is equal to cos squared x, because the top is cos squared x, divided by cos x. Now remember, cos squared x means cos x times cos x, so that just gives us cos x, and we've proven example 1, because we've got cos x back. Example 2. Show that sine x over tan x equals cos x. So again, starting by writing my trig identities, I've got sine x over cos x equals tan x. And I've got sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. So we're going to use the top one because there's no squares in our question. So remember to start with the left-hand side. Don't say it equals the right. Just start with the left and try and get to the right. So the left says sine x divided by tan x. There's two ways to go with this. We could rearrange and make sine x the subject of our top identity, or we could divide straight away by tan x, which is sine x over cos x. It's your choice. I'll show you both methods, actually. So method one for this question, since sine x over cos x equals tan x, I can rearrange this just by saying that sine x times 1 equals tan x cos x. So I can just say that sine x equals tan x cos x. And then just substitute that into our thing. So that gives me sine x over tan x is equal to, well, tan x cos x all over tan x. And now you should see the tan x on the top and bottom, so they cancel. So that equals cos x. So that is one option you could do. The second way you could do it is to again start off with tan x is equal to sine x over cos x. 
then just sub in tan x. So the thing we started with was, I'll just keep this separate, sine x over tan x. So sub in tan x, that gives me sine x divided by sine x over cos x. Dividing by a fraction is the same as times and by it's reciprocal. You flip the second one upside down. So that's sine x times cos x over sine x. And you can again see the sine x's cancel, leaving cos x. Whatever one of the two methods you prefer, I think the first one's easier. Trigonometric identities example three. Show that three cos squared x plus three sine squared x equals three. This is quite an easy one. So starting off with our trig identities, sine x over cos x equals tan x and sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. Well, it's obviously the first one we're using and it's got sine squared and cos squared on the same sign. Cos squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. Sine squared plus cos squared is the same as cos squared plus sine squared. So then there's a 3 on each side, so I'll just times both sides by 3. So times in this side by 3 and times in that side by 3. Well, we'll need brackets around that. So that's 3 times cos squared x plus sine squared x equals 3. And that means that expanding the brackets, we get 3 cos squared x plus 3 sine squared x equals 3. And we're done there because we've done it. We've got the answer 3. Okay, 20. 16, that's the five maths paper one question. 11 said simplify tan squared x equals tan squared x cos squared x. So, we've got tan and cos squared, so we can change the tan into sine over cos. So, step one, sine squared x over cos squared x. That gives, that's my tan squared x, and I'm timesing that by cos squared x. So, you get a mark for getting sine over cos or sine squared over cos squared. And then, for simplifying that, well, the cos squareds cancel out, so we get our final mark for getting sine squared x. And we're done there. Screen Ash 5 Maths 2018, paper 1, question 18. Express sine x cos x tan x in its simplest form. We've got a sine x and cos x, so we'll eliminate the tan x by changing the tan x into sine x over cos x. So we've got sine x cos x times sine x over cos x. And then we can cancel some fractions. So cos x cancels with cos x. That just leaves us with sine x times sine x, which we can write as sine squared x for our final mark. Three National 5 Maths 2019, paper 2, question 17. Expand and simplify sine x plus cos x all squared. So it's a double bracket question as well. So I've got sine x plus cos x times sine x plus cos x. And expand that any way you want using a grid or foil. I'm just going to use foil for the sake of quickness. So first, sine x times sine x is sine squared x. Outside, sine x cos x. So it's sine x cos x. Inside is cos x sine x, but I'll just write sine x cos x to keep the order the same. And cos x times cos x is cos squared x. So that's your first mark there for getting your expansion. And then for tidying it up. So we need to tidy this up somehow. So we've got sine x plus sine x cos x plus sine x cos x. That's two lots of sine x cos x. But we've also got sine squared plus cos squared. And if you remember our trigger data entry, sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. So that all simplifies to 1 plus 2 lots of sine x cos x for our final answer. Trigonometric identities, SQA, National 5 Maths, 2021, Paper 2, Question 16. Expand and simplify cos x times tan x plus 1 and show you're working. So let's expand it. We'll expand in brackets first and then using trig identities. So that gives me cos x tan x. And times in by 1 plus cos x. Now, at this point, we need to use a trig identity. So let's take a note of our trig identities. Remember, sine squared x plus cos squared x was equal to 1. And sine x over cos x equals tan x. Well, 
The one we're going to use, of course, is the tan x one, because there's no squares on our question. So we've got that equals cos x times sine x over cos x, because sine x over cos x is tan x. And we've got to add on cos x. So expanding the brackets, well, we've got on the top cos x and on the bottom cos x, so they simplify to just sine x. So that equals sine x plus cos x. And we're done there. Do not be tempted to write 1. That is not sine squared x plus cos x squared x. It's just sine x plus cos x. So we're done there. SQA National 5 Maths 2022, Paper 2, Question 13. Another trigonometric identity question. Simplify sine x plus 2 cos x over cos x. Okay, so we could split this up into two separate fractions. We've got sine x degrees over cos x degrees plus 2 cos x degrees over cos x degrees. And then we can deal with each fraction individually. You get a mark just for separating them out, by the way. Sine x divided by cos x, we know equals tan x. Cos x divided by cos x, well that just simplifies to 1, that we cancel, so I've got plus 2 left over for our final answer. S grade National 5 Maths 2023, paper 2, question 13. Simplify 2 sine squared x plus 2 cos squared x. Well we only know two trig identities, sine divided by cos is tan, sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. Well, that looks like sine squared plus cos squared, so let's see if we can factorise it. 2 is a common factor. Sine squared x, then, times cos squared x. But since we know that that's 1, that equals 2 times 1, which is 2. And we're done there.